I want you to take a look at a map. So each logo that you see on here as we pop them up individually around here represents a school district in North Texas at this moment looking for a superintendent. Count them up. We got 10 districts on that map. Plano ISD is the latest. They just announced yesterday. Andrea Lucia looking today at the exodus and who might fill the void. From the superintendent of schools. Trustees, do I have a motion? The Dallas ISD School Board this afternoon voted to formally accept the resignation of Superintendent Michael Hinojosa, who will step aside once his replacement is chosen. We've moved and seconded to accept the resignation and or voluntary exit agreement from the Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Dr. Hinojosa, do you want to say anything? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Board members are meeting with search firms today, competing for the chance to help select the district's new leader. It's one of 10 in North Texas now looking to fill its top spot. It has been a privilege and an honor to serve and have served as the superintendent of the Plano Independent School District. The latest announcement came from Plano ISD, which this morning accepted the resignation of Superintendent Sarah Bonzer. So Sarah, it, um, it is with great reluctance that the board will accept your letter of retirement. According to one leading search firm statewide, there are now 60 superintendent jobs open. And nationally, 14 of the largest 20 districts have lost theirs during the pandemic. It's been fairly consistent until two years ago. Michael Collins with the search firm Ray and Associates says there are several reasons for the wave of resignations, among them the increasing stress and pressure of the job. Aside from frontline health workers, public school educators may have the most difficult, may, may have had the most difficult job in America during the pandemic. So is it hard to find people who want to step into that role and take over? It's, it's, it's going to get harder. Collins says districts will be looking for cohesive leaders who can bring people together toward common goals, an important trait in what's become a more politicized environment. Plano ISD announced it will be looking at internal candidates for its next top leader. In Plano, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea.